What's up guys, welcome back to the Ultimate Tech Hub. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a gun safe from a company called 2A4Life. This gun safe includes a biometric fingerprint sensor, which can store up to 120 fingerprints. The biometric fingerprint sensor is a 500 DPI optical sensor. This safe also includes a six button keypad as well as two override keys. And this safe is built from solid pry resistant steel. It also includes an adjustable interior shelf, and this safe can be bolted to the floor, shelf, or wall. And the mounting bolts are included. So we currently have two safes already, and both are different styles. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna compare this safe with the other two safes, and give you my full review. So make sure to watch till the end of this video. And make sure to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. Let's open the box and see what's inside. Okay, this is the user manual and all the accessories. This safe is pretty heavy and it feels very solid. Okay, here's the user manual. This looks to be a battery compartment of some sort, and the manual doesn't explain what this does. These are the two override keys, and four AA batteries that will install into the door. And these batteries supply power to the keypad, as well as the biometric fingerprint sensor. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the front panel. On the left you have the doorknob, turns left and right. Next to that is the six button keypad. Above the keypad is the light indicators, and below the keypad, is a removable cover where you insert the override key. And lastly, to the right is the fingerprint sensor. So now let's go ahead and install the batteries in the door. And we'll need to use the override keys first. Simply insert the override key here and turn. Now you can open the door. Then we can access the battery compartment. And these are the mounting bolts and some styrofoam packaging. And this is the adjustable shelf. And this is the gray carpet that goes on the bottom shelf. And some more styrofoam. And behind the small black panel is where the batteries go. And this is where the reset button is located behind the door. This button right there. Next, install the batteries. Remove the black cover from the door and insert all four batteries. Okay, now it's time to reset the factory code. The factory code for this safe is 1234 pound, and the green light means it's unlocked. Now it's time to change the code. It can be three to five digits. So to change the code, press 1234 pound, wait for the beep, press pound again, then enter your new code and press pound one more time and you'll hear a beeping sound that confirms the change. So next, try your new code. And it works. Now it's time to set the fingerprint sensor. First thing, put in your passcode, then hit pound. Next, press the reset button on the back of the door until you hear a beep. Now place your finger on the sensor until you hear a beep, and you'll see a green light. Now go ahead and test out the fingerprint sensor. And our fingerprint works. Like I said before, you can add up to 120 fingerprints to this one safe. Pretty cool. Now it's time to store some items. Now this safe can hold quite a few items. The interior dimensions of this safe is 13.5 by 8.75 by 9.5 inches. And as you can see on the door here, there's three live door bolts, which makes it very secure. And with this safe, you can set it up for single mode or dual mode to unlock the door. Dual mode requires the fingerprint as well as the keypad code. For faster access, I recommend single mode. 
Next, I'm going to compare this safe with my other two safes and see which of these three safes is the best safe in terms of functionality. So let's go ahead and start with the Brinks safe. This safe is larger and quite a bit heavier than our new safe. And to open the Brinks safe, you'll need a key and the four number combination dial code. I find accessing this safe very difficult. Using the old fashioned combination dial code can be tricky and time consuming. Okay, my next safe is a smaller safe. In this safe, you can use a key or a finger button combination, which makes accessing this safe much easier. However, this safe is pretty small in comparison to the Brink safe and my new safe. So of the three safes, as far as functionality and size, our new safe from 2A4 Life is the best of the three. It's very simple to access with the fingerprint or the code, and it's large enough to hold many items. And with that being said, we definitely recommend this safe. And the price for this safe is $169.94 and it's free delivery in the US. And there'll be a link in the description below to where you can buy this safe. And once again guys, don't forget to visit our Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, we give a personal shout out in the very next video. And guys, remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you so much for watching.